Far on the southern shores of the Dunlands, there lies a vast rainforest that even the Shadowkin themselves do not tread unbidden. The ancient and eerie mistwood, as old as Teleria itself, its groves had been nurtured by the Fae and Elves in the days now lost beyond the veil of myth. It is a land of magic unbound, secrets long forgotten, and perils beyond counting, but wild as it is, Mistwood serves as the seat of power to an old and proud nation. For eons, the elves who had chosen to abandon Arabia lived here side by side with the Fae, and though most mortals who dared to treat with the fickle spirits of nature would invite grave danger indeed, the elves of old had attuned themselves to the lifelines of the forest and the energy that connects every living being therein. This rhythm flows from the heart tree, the nexus of ancient magic power in Mistwood, and gives them great empathy and the ability to understand the desires of beasts and fae alike. Thus, the Sylvan were born, representatives of every elvish settlement, and every fae court stood united to guide their people through perilous times, and it is known that every nation needs an army as well as rulers. While the Sylvan court governed, the watchers kept vigil, yet the Dark Lord is cunning, and the stroke that had pierced the living heart of Mistwood came from within, Few remember that Siroth had once entered Mistwood in the days when both he and Lumaya still walked among mortals. He had planted a single seed that would, in time, twist the very essence of the forest. When awakened by a demon spawn spy, this rot infected the heart tree and interrupted the harmony of the rhythm. Through it, corruption spread to the hearts of the Sylvan Watchers. Many turned on their comrades and a terrible war followed. Here, Siroth sought to achieve what he failed to do in fair Arabia and bend the Sylvans holy to his will, yet hope still burned bright. Satan, one of the Elder Dryads, spirited the last seed of the heart tree away before it could be destroyed, protected by the loyal Sylvan Watchers. She sacrificed herself on the slopes of the Nairus Mountains her life force giving birth to the new heart tree that would keep the flow of the rhythm pure and give the Sylvans a fighting chance. Shadowkin, who had rebelled against the demonic masters, had often sought refuge in Mistwood and now rose in its defense. The Sky Iron Dominion had an outpost nearby, and the dwarves heeded the Watcher's plight. Together, they burned the tainted heart tree and returned in uneasy peace to Mistwood Though the trace of Siroth's evil yet lingers and many fae remain lost to madness, those dark days saw the beginning of an alliance that endures still. When the Shadowkin rose up to free their homeland, the Sylvan Watchers and the Dwarves were there to fight by their side, and with the Yakai free at last, the Naira Sun Union stands strong to oppose any foe that would challenge them. And that is the story of the Sylvan Watchers. Till next time. My fellow Raiders.